So let's join our hearts together as we affirm our faith in the creed that you'll see on the screen. And we join together in saying, we believe. We believe in the Jesus who rode and triumphed into Jerusalem. We believe in the Messiah who was crucified, died and was buried. We hope in the living Christ who walked out of the tomb. We believe in the Holy Spirit who stirs, sustains and sanctifies. We hope in Jesus who brings to us and through us the gift of God's peace. Amen. So we're going to have an interview now and this week we're interviewing Lucy Duckworth. As I said last week and as we were celebrating with Lucy, she gained the Queen's Award and Richard is going to speak with her today and Lucy will share with us. So Richard and Lucy. Hi St Paul's, so for this week's interview we're going to do things a little bit different. Uh, you heard last week Arthur was congratulating Lucy on her Queen's Award. So Lucy has agreed to share with us a little bit about actually what that means. So first of all, Lucy, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. So uh, for those of us that don't know what the Queen's Award is, can you just uh, tell us what the Queen's Award is? Yeah, so um, the Queen's Award, uh, it's probably the highest uh, award that you can achieve in Girls' Brigade. Um, it takes up to two years to complete and there's many different parts to it um, throughout those two years. So can, what, what are some of those parts then that you have to go through? Um, so at the start of it, um, I was given an initiative task um, and I had to cook uh, a three-course meal for four um, people, uh, all with the budget of £12, I think. Um, so that was definitely a task. Um, and I was given another second initiative task uh, later on in the year. Um, I had to record myself um, giving a talk to um, the younger kids um, and a song as well. Um, there's an exam that you have to sit um, based on GB and politics. Um, and quite a large portion of it is community service and a big project, um, which I had to do as well. Wow, Lois, so can you remember what you cooked for the, for the meal? Um, I think I did homemade pizza. <laughs> I'm <laughs> pretty cheap and easy. Um, yeah, because I'm honestly not that good at cooking, so <laughs> it was best of what I could do. Very good. So talk to me about the, the big project then. Yeah, so I decided um, you could either do uh, like a typed up document, um, like a, a book or um, some sort of research, or you could do like a creative task. Um, so I don't really like writing essays, so I decided to go down the creative route and um, design uh, photo frames um, all based on my life. Uh, so each photo frame... I would decorate it um something to do with the picture that was inside it. So um and every picture was something to do with a different part of my life. So there was there was actually a picture of our praise band in one of them. I remember that. Um and then there was G B photos and then my friends, family. Um and then I would have decorated like uh the outside of the frames with buttons, feathers, everything I could find painted, most of them. Um, and then I placed them all on a big wooden board just to display. And it was basically all about my life. <laughs> Very good. I haven't seen that praise band picture. You're going to have to show me that at some point. <laughs> it was the one from Ashley's wedding. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Very good. Um, and what, what about the community service um, angle of this? So, yeah, um, you probably know, but um, I'm a member of the Connor Youth Forum. Uh, so we worked on a lot of um, outreach uh, during the week of street reach last year. Um, it was unfortunately online instead of in person this year, um, but that counted towards uh, community service. And then before COVID, obviously, we had planned to do um, a big project type of thing, um, all based on mental health. Um, like a, it was meant to be like a wee enterprise thing, but unfortunately we never got around to meeting up after that. Um, but that would have went towards a community service. 
I mean, do you hope to be able to do it anyway? I don't know that you've got the award now, but do you hope to be able to continue on with that hopefully, stuff? Hopefully, yeah, hopefully so. Um, I'd be quite passionate about mental health, so um, definitely I, I'd like to continue that. That's brilliant to hear. So, like, Lucy, thank you this, for, for sharing this, the, the, these insights. I, mean, it's, mm-hmm. I, I love to see that you're, you know, you're part of this youth forum for Connor. Um, that's, that's, that's brilliant that... Uh, uh, Part of our Sapal's family is doing that, and uh, and thank you for you know sharing a bit of this. Again, congratulations for for the award, and I hope people have found this interesting. So, well done, thank you. Thank you. So again, as I said last week, Lucy, we are all so proud of you, and I know that our Girls Brigade Company are so proud of you too, and all that you've achieved. And we just pray God's blessing upon you for the future. So thank you for that interview. Uh, We're going to have our prayers this morning and Paul is going to lead us in those prayers. Paul.